morning was not ideal but good morning and welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm filming a little monday in my life and i'm so happy to have you all here watching my video and i love that you're watching this on a monday love that for us but i like to have a nice productive monday it's like one of my favorite things to do because it starts off the week on a high okay and we love that for us but I did start off my Monday, if I'm being honest, um, watching House of Dragon. Comment down below if you've seen the first or second episode. I think by now you would have been able to watch two episodes. But it is so freaking good. I love TV shows like this, and I'm so excited to have a good show to watch every Sunday slash Monday. I meant to watch it last night, but my Crave server that I watch, the streaming service I watch it on, was like crashing it wouldn't work i'm assuming it's because people were just overflowing the server and it was glitching out and i didn't want to stay up late because i go to bed early like an old lady i go to bed at like 9 30 p.m i was planning to stay up till 10 to watch it but then it wouldn't start and i was like okay whatever i'm gonna watch it in the morning while i have my coffee and honestly thoroughly enjoyed it it was so freaking good anyways i'm making my breakfast right now i'm just having some oatmeal plans for today i have yoga later tonight which is funny for me i always yoga in the morning but i'm trying to do yoga for five days this week every day because it is that time of the month for me so i'm trying to go a little bit easier on my body i don't really like doing high impact or high stress workouts when i'm on my time of the month because my body just doesn't react well to it and i like to listen to my body and when i'm a bit more tired and a bit more sore i'd rather do yoga relaxing so i'm really excited i'm doing yoga every day this week which should be really fun and hopefully i'll just feel super super flexible by the end of the week i'll just be out here like a flexible queen and that would be amazing very excited about that but yeah i'm really happy to have you all here just heating up my oatmeal right now and we're gonna get into the day i want to do some skincare and then get dressed for the day it's a really rainy and gloomy day out not ideal. I'm probably just going to wear athleisure wear, athletic wear all day today just because I plan to wear yoga later. I'm just going to wear all day um, because why not? My hair is staying like this because it's a write-off. It's honestly dirty, but I have hot yoga tomorrow morning, so I'm just like, whatever. I'll wash my hair tomorrow <laughs> at some point. It's hard when you do hot yoga to ever have clean hair because I sweat so much in hot yoga. It's insane. And like hot, hot hair? What? Clean hair is just like out of the question. Anyways, let's get into today's video. Also, if you're new, my name's Chelsea. It's the title of this channel. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe and follow me on my Instagram. But yeah, let's get into it. So I did start using my productivity planner officially. So I did my weekly plan and also my daily plan for today. So my main goal for today was to shoot this video. Then I also need to go grocery shopping, edit the video, create the thumbnail, and then I just wanna do a nice clean of my apartment. So this planner is really cool. It starts off, yeah, I'll show you a blank one. So it starts off with a quote, just to like nice and motivate you for the day. And then you have your most important task of the day, which you would write right here. This is the thing that you need to get done, whatever is causing you the most stress or anxiety. If you didn't do it, that is always the most important task. And then you'll allocate, 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 <laughs> allocate how much time per like little interval that you will dedicate to doing this task. So that'll go right here. And then your second and third most important task, fourth and fifth. And you only complete these tasks if you finish the ones above them. So they literally are ranked by most important and then has a little note section for if you didn't finish something or something you want to remember the next day, etc. And at the end of the day, you can rate your mood and then rank your day. So I just think it's really efficient and straightforward. This is by Intelligent Change and I just got it off of, 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 indigo chapters so yeah i'm just going through that to make sure i have my game plan all ready for today which it looks like i already did so we're all good to go and then i'm also just gonna go through my stuff with my work on here to make sure that we're all organized before i just get into a full day of filming also do you love my face completely cut off because i am so good at setting up the angles so freaking good I'm gonna finish off doing this and eat my little oatmeal in a cup. <laughs> I love these things. So they probably have too much sugar in them, but whatever. This one's really good. It's apple cinnamon and so yummy. This lighting is so good. 
Okay, I'm gonna start getting ready for the day now. I've been trying out this new glow toner by Charlotte Tilbury and so far I really like it. It's like an acid free toner, which is interesting. It has like niacinamide in it, pore tight, which I'm not sure what they use to make the pore tight, and then a peptide and an exfoliate active. I don't know, but I saw on the thing that it says that it's acid free, so it doesn't contain any sort of like lactic acid any acid <laughs> and so far i like it i just put it on a cotton pad and i've been focusing it mainly on my nose because that's where i have the biggest pores so like right here and then my forehead is definitely like super gentle i haven't noticed any like irritation from using it or anything like that so so far so good really just like desperate to go on the balcony even though it's pouring pouring rain right now another new product i've been trying out is the first aid beauty 10 percent vitamin C serum really like it so far you have to like dispense it on an angle otherwise like so much comes out so I just do like half a pump and I just apply this onto my face I love that they made like a vitamin C for sensitive skin because that's me my skin is out here always always sensitive and then I've just been using the First Aid Beauty Ferment Collagen Cream recently. The texture of it's really cool. It's like a whipped, like a whipped texture. It's very interesting. It looks like this. It's like the weirdest texture I've ever seen in a moisturizer, but I do really like this one. Super hydrating, which my skin has been a bit dry recently, which is why I've been using this. But a little goes a long way. And then last up, even though it's super cloudy out today, literally probably zero sun, I'm gonna apply sunscreen. This is the Laneige one I've been loving because it's super hydrating on my skin. It's SPF 50 and I really like it. So I'm just been applying this all over and then just blending it in with my fingers. And this stuff does work really well in the sun. I used it um, a couple weeks ago when I was at Aiden's Cottage and my face never got burnt and we were outside all day. So definitely works. Just applying this all over. to get that sun protection from the sun that's not really there. <laughs> and then for my makeup today, I'm not obviously gonna do much because I have yoga later and it's raining and I just don't care to do a lot of makeup. But I am gonna fill in my eyebrows and maybe just do like a bit of mascara just to like open up my face a bit, brighten things up, make myself look <laughs> a wee bit more presentable. So I just use Anastasia Beverly Hills products for my eyebrows. They're my favorite. I haven't found anything better. This is the Define, like really small pencil in the shade Dark Brown and it matches my eyebrows perfectly. It's not too like warm toned because that's what I hate when you get like a brown eye pencil and it looks like orange on your eyebrows. I'm like, mm, no, it's a no from me. How are you guys feeling that August is almost done? How crazy is that? Like. It's almost done. When you're watching this, it'll be the 29th of August. Like, I just think that's insane. This summer has like flown by and I feel like it went so fast because it's like the first normal summer that we've had here in Canada in like two years. And I feel like it just like, I don't know, it just made it fly by. Like it went so fast. I can't believe that it's like almost over and almost September. That just blows my mind. I do love fall weather though, like summer I love, but I get like, I don't like to be super sweaty and hot. Like I don't mind it when it's the nice heat, but once it gets too hot, I'm like, okay, it's too freaking hot for me, too humid. Fall is like my favorite season for sure. I just wish that we actually had a longer fall here in Ontario. Like we basically just have October and by November it's freezing. So it's like we have one month of actual fall, I feel like, and then it feels just like winter for the rest of it. Just gonna apply mascara. I've been using, my hands are all slimy, not slimy, my hands are all slippery because of the moisturizer, but I've just been using this one from Buxom that I got sent in PR, and I really like it for like natural lashes. It's super separating. So when I'm not wearing like any makeup other than this, I like to apply this mascara because it's just really natural looking. It also um, removes really well, which is nice. I hate mascaras that you can't get off 
I understand that so they don't like smudge and all that kind of stuff, but when you're like, just like rubbing to get it off, it drives me insane. And I'm gonna brush my teeth, apply lip balm, and then it's time to get dressed. So today I'm just gonna wear this set from Aritzia. It is the Butter Collection. I love their Butter Collection for yoga, Pilates. It's super soft, it's like the perfect material. I love how soft they are. Like these ones hold you in as well, but the material is just like, so comfortable. Think like Lululemon Aligns. So soft in this nice dark blue color. And I'm just gonna throw my hoodie I was wearing over top because I just put that on today. So we're gonna wear that over top, but this will be my outfit for when I do yoga later tonight as well. Are you super cute? Are you the cutest? Mommy has to go to the grocery store now in the rain. Look here. <laughs> All right guys, I am off to the grocery store now. I just put on my North Face rain jacket. I love this thing, I've had this thing for so long since I was in college and it's the best for when it's raining or windy, etc., etc. Anyways, heading out, gonna leave this camera at home so I'll just film some clips on my phone but this camera's staying because it's raining and I don't want it to break. <laughs> but yeah, off we go. I just got back from the grocery store, so let's go through bag one of what I got. Blackberries, love these for in oatmeal or just to snack on, so I got a pack of those. I was almost out of my actual caffeinated tea. I like to have this sometimes in the afternoon. Um, so this one's just the Yorkshire tea, the orange pico, super good. Then I also got a thing of chamomile tea because I've heard this one is really nice to drink at nighttime. Um, so I'm really excited to have this. Apparently it tastes really good. My mom said chamomile tea is delicious, so super excited. Then I just got some baby carrots to have as a snack with hummus. I also got some green grapes to snack on. Bananas for smoothies. I got some spinach and kale mix for smoothies or as a salad. And then I picked up just some shredded chicken for salads. Bacon for in the morning. Avocados for whenever I want to add that in. Some more guacamole because I have leftover tortilla chips that I want to finish. I picked up this. These are like my favorite tomato soup. Does anyone remember when I used to talk about this constantly? It's the Happy Planet Organic Tuscan Tomato Soup. So good. So I picked up this for if I ever feel like having like some soup. It's delicious. Kind of expensive for soup, but it's so good. Then I just got some blueberries. I picked up another one, a new one of my deodorant. This is the only deodorant that works for me because my underarms, my underarms are super sensitive to aluminum and baking soda, and this one's free of both. So it's by the brand Ivory, and this one's in the chamomile scent. And then my honey was gone, has gone weird, so I got some more. This is Manuka honey. So Manuka honey has a lot of natural, um, and antibiotics I believe in it. It's really really good for you. So I got this just to put on like oatmeal and stuff like that And yeah, that was everything in the first bag So I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'll show you guys what was in the second bag And here is what was in the second bag So I just got some more mini cucumbers to have as snacks or in salads Some sweet grape tomatoes another thing of this pure grain Santorini lemon dill flavor. This is so good It tastes amazing. So I got this then I got some frozen salmon fillets to just like have if I want to add some on a salad for lunch or on a bowl for lunch or for dinner, etc. I love salmon. So I picked up this, some more eggs for breakfast, oatmeal, just the instant original one. And then I got some more tomato sauce. I thought I would try out the Tuscany olive and garlic flavor. Some Siggy's um, Creamy Sky, which is like a yogurt. And this one, I like it because it's really high protein. It's got 18 grams of protein in it. So I will add this in to like smoothies or have it as a smoothie or have it as a yogurt bowl. And then I just picked up some more all-purpose cleaner. And that's everything that I got for my groceries. I'm gonna put everything away now, but feeling good that my fridge is all stocked up now. Feels good to have a full fridge on a Monday. I'm about to make some lunch right now. I'm just gonna make like a random lunch. So I have two eggs here. So I'm gonna fry up two eggs. Um, probably scramble them with some spinach in them. And then I'm gonna have just some carrots and cucumbers with hummus. And that's gonna be my lunch. I don't feel like anything insane. Also, I always use this 
cooking spray because it doesn't have all the other funky oils, the bad oils. High end trans fat, I believe. I was looking into it. And this one literally only has avocado oil and that's it. So this is the brand for you guys if you're curious. They just have it at my Metro grocery store. It sprays really well too, so I love that. But I'm gonna fry up two eggs with spinach in them. Spinach is in it. And I have my other stuff, so. I'm gonna use up the spinach before it goes bad. Also, Abe told me a trick, which I just did with my new lettuce that I bought. So you put paper towel in the lettuce and then flip it upside down and the paper towel will absorb, absorb, absorb <laughs> all of the excess um, moisture in the lettuce and it'll make it last longer. So I am trying that out with the new lettuce that I just bought because Lettuce goes bad so fast and it's so annoying. Like I feel like it's impossible to eat through it unless I'm having like green smoothies and salads every single day, which you know, some days I don't feel like it. Anyways, we're gonna scramble this up. Scramble eggs is like my favorite way to have eggs, personally. Cause then you can put a bunch of stuff in it. It just tastes good though. So I'm gonna just rip up some spinach in here and then we're just gonna fry it on up. This kid never wants to stay open either. Like, that's really annoying. <laughs> All right, so my lunch is made. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, so that's great. I hate that feeling. Um, but I just put my video live today where I talked about whether or not I wanted to do Vlogtober and what your guys' thoughts were. And so far, it seems like you guys would really enjoy if I did it. So I'm gonna plan out right now in my handy dandy notebook some video ideas for Vlogtober. So if you guys have any other ideas of things you would want me to do in those vlogs, let me know. But I definitely want to do <clears throat> like a pumpkin patch one for sure. I wanna do one where I try out the fall drinks at Starbucks. I definitely wanna do that in a bunch of vlogs, like try out whatever their fall drinks they come out with are. I wanna do a books to read for October, some like spooky books. Mm. Then other than that, I'm not really sure. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I could also do like a fall morning routine, fall night routine. Sorry for the squeaks. Fall outfit. I don't know. I'm going to write down some ideas because I'm going to have to think of 31 videos. <laughs> Not a lot. I'm going to start brainstorming. <laughs> brainstorm 17 different ideas for videos in October. There mostly will be like obviously vlogs, but I would like the vlog to have some sort of fall content to it. So I did think of some different ideas that we could add in to different videos. But if you guys have any other ideas, because I do not have 31, definitely leave them down below. I'm about to just do some editing on this video just for the footage that I filmed so far, because I'm trying to get really ahead with my upload schedule and just be super productive when it comes to that because it just makes me feel better when I'm ahead of the game. So I'm gonna do some editing. Also, if you're wondering, this laptop case, which I'm obsessed with, is from Velvet Caviar. It's just like a clear protective case for my MacBook and I'm literally obsessed with it. I also made a tea in my cute summer mug. I got this from Anthropology. 
and I love it. Though it will be going away in a couple weeks because it'll be fall vibes then and I'm bringing out all the pumpkin spice, pumpkin mugs, pumpkin everything. Everything will have a pumpkin, a witch, or something to do with that on it. I love being festive, it makes the cold weather more bearable. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get to editing this and probably watch something on YouTube. I like to have a little bit of background noise. While I'm editing, I usually end up not paying attention at all to what's on the TV, but I'm a background noise gal, okay? I'm not a dead silence worker, it's just not for me, which is why I don't work in an office, because I would probably hate that. Though I feel like offices are probably dead down. I feel like people talk. I actually have no idea because I've never worked in an office. So let me know <laughs> if you work in one. Is your office quiet or do people talk? Because I know when my mom worked at an office, they weren't allowed to talk really. It was quite quiet. So let me know what it's like for you guys. Okay, what the heck? What a cool video. I'm just looking at the video right now. 1.7 million views it's from three years ago. It's called My Solo Trip to Alaska cruising from Vancouver to Anchorage. That's so cool. <laughs> Should I watch that? <laughs> I might put it on while I do this, cause what the heck? Might have to, might have to. Okay, so the autofocus was being really weird in this camera, so <laughs> hopefully it's working now. I was just editing the footage and I'm like, why is it like not really in focus? It would be like kind of in focus and then not in focus. I was like, what is going on? Anyways, I have a whole new camera setup coming soon. I'm like trying to step up my game with my filming, so I ordered a new camera for vlogging as well as a new lens for it and a microphone accessory because I know my audio is not the best at all because I've just been using the camera's audio and it's pretty crap. So I have a whole setup which will make vlogging for Vlogtober and moving forward in September, amazing once I have it all. I shipped it all to my parents' place just because the shipping at my apartment is kind of like er, hit and miss. But hopefully, when I get it all set up, it'll be sunshine, rainbows, and magicalness. <laughs> but I'm very excited to go to yoga soon. I'm literally gonna head there very soon. It's in like 30 minutes, so excited and then when I come home I'm gonna make dinner I don't know what recipe I will I think I do I think I'm gonna have salmon tonight so I think I'm gonna make the salmon recipe wherever it is this one I believe yeah so it's salmon and orzo salad with sun-dried tomato dressing so I'm gonna try and make this one it should be pretty good very excited I also just love orzo so gonna make that for dinner tonight once I get back, have a little bit of a late dinner, but I don't mind that because I find when I have a later dinner, it means I'm just not like hungry before bed. I don't do that like late night guilty snacking. So should be good. But yeah, excited for yoga. Ha! Ah, gonna get all zen. So I'm not doing hot yoga today. I'm doing regular yoga. And for some reason, because I do hot yoga all the time, like doing yoga not in a hot room just like weirds me out. I'm like, it's not hot enough in here. I'm kind of cold. <laughs> my dinner for tonight it looks so good so it's salmon with the roasted tomato orzo and Millie here are you trying to beg because it's not gonna happen and I don't even know where the baking came from because no one's ever fed you human food as far as I know where is that coming from huh mommy no like it don't do that no begging here is my my dinner that I'm about to dive right into Cause I'm starving after yoga. I'm starving after yoga. Blink if you love me.
Thank you. All right, guys, I just want to come on here to end off today's video. I'm about to go to bed, <laughs> clearly. I'm tired. I've been drinking my chamomile tea and finishing editing this video for you guys. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you were new. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.